All right, yeah, I was talking about the Desert Eagle L6. It's clear, as you can see. I added a stream light to it. I want the laser. I'm gonna change out the grips and also the uh, sights. I'm gonna change those out as well. But the gun is very nice by itself. I mean, this is my personal preference. It's a nice gun. It's not as heavy as people say. You know, like I say, I carry it on my leg. I can also carry it on my hip because I got a detachment for it. So this is the gun. I got this one for 17 and some change. Um, it came with a, a magazine, but you know, I added a few more magazines to it. And I'm using Hornady ammo. Let's give you a better view of the, the weapon. Very nice weapon. So, this is what we have. Let's turn this back down just because. There you go. With the light attachment. And this is the holster I made out of the Kydex. Like I said, I'm working on it. So, this was the thickest Kydex that you can get so definition isn't that well but this like I said my first project I know I got some more work to do but it does the job holds the weapon and slides right down in there see that that's on my leg I get a better view when I walk around Let's give you a better view. Leg holster, see that? That's about how far it sticks out. Boom, boom. Don't have to go too far. Arm rest in length. So, works perfect. Boom. So. Uh, if you're thinking about getting the L6, pretty good weapon. Like I say, people say they don't walk around with it, but hey, I'm living proof that you can. It's not a problem. No problems. Everything's good with it. I don't have a problem with it. So, if you want to walk around with it, people say, oh, they don't want to carry it. It's not heavy. I mean, they say it is, but I don't feel it's heavy. A nice size weapon just right here on my leg. Just boom. Something goes down. Boom. I go right to it. No problem. Boom. Go right to it. That's real quick simple. So I needed something for that because I definitely wasn't going to spend that much money on a weapon. And just leave it on the shelf. Not happening. I have to have that. Does the job. Hey, like I said, once that comes out, hey. We don't want no problems. So, like I said, if you're going to get the L6, go ahead and do it. It's worth the money. Like I said, if you're going to carry it, either get your custom holster made or make it yourself. Like I said, the YouTubers helped me out. If I can do it, you can do it. Make it happen. All right, now.
Desert Eagle L six fifty A E. What you think? Gotta go with the rails. They come in handy. 58. Okay, you guys, I'm back. Uh, with discussion about the um, Desert Eagle L6. It's clear. With the uh, TLR2 HLG green laser attachment. As you can see, that's a light laser or laser light combination. With the, also with the uh, Stinger. So, anyway, that's just a light. But, uh, I had to get a special holster, but I couldn't find one, so I had to make it myself. If you look at my other videos, you'll see what I'm talking about. But uh, this is the weapon, Desert Eagle. Pretty nice gun. And the holster is attached to my duty belt already. As you can see, hit the attachment. Goes on my leg holster as well, which is right here with the same attachment. Attachment plate. So go there. And then my duty belt has the same thing. So, you know, the quick disconnect. Anyway, I learned this, how to make the uh, Cadex holsters through YouTubers on Pan It Forward. It's my first project. Works pretty good. Still had a little touching up to do as far as sanding and getting things right, but it's working. So, I'm not mad. It took me about two hours to make this. And like I said, I'm just trying to show you how it looks on the hip. There we go. All right, that's in there. That's what we got going on. Here's the weapon. Let you know how to, the space in between the holster and my vest. See that? Cool. So, I take it, whack it forward, and play this out. Okay. All right, there go the weapon. Boom. Let's spin this back. There we go. Just the space in between, between the vest and the holster. So. Also got the safety. In case something happened, I don't have a problem with somebody trying to grab it or anything. But comes out pretty smooth, no problems. That's the holster on the duty on the duty belt. There we go. That's what we're looking at. Same thing. Back up a little bit so you can see it. This is how it looks. Boom. Weapon is right there, just as any other weapon. Say it's a big gun, it is a big gun, but it's still close to the body. It's not going crazy. So if I was to put this same attachment to, let's say, a, another belt 
And I was gonna wear this out. I could wear it out in open carry. And it'll still be fairly close to my body. Like I said, you can do it. So people say you can't open carry it or whatever. You can, it's not too heavy. It's sitting on my hip with no problem. Doesn't feel too bulky or anything to me. So, like I said, it's still functioning and everything just like you would with your regular weapon. So, this is as big a gun, that's all. So, works for me. Kydex, thanks to all YouTubers that gave me pointers. I know I just got a lot more work to do, but I'm just showing you what I did for the first time. Works pretty good, it's on there, no problems. If I can do it, you can do it. See, let's sit again. A little closer view. Spacing. Let me know what you think. Like I said, still got work to do, so don't bust me up on the edging and sand and all that stuff. But I just needed it. I got the weapon. I said, you know what? I'm not putting this weapon on no shelf. It's any type of novelty or whatever you want to call it. I want to pay that money for the weapon that I want to be able to carry and use if need be. So, I'm going to be out shooting it today, so you can stay tuned for that. All right. Let's try it again. Going I'm going to aim at this top target, see if I can hit bullseye. And then I'm going to see if I can do some of these cans at the bottom. Here we go. Let's see. Moving right to the side of the first jug. Let's see if I can hit him. All right. Sheesh. Let's get it. What's going on? It's like that's what's going on. A little bit aiming a little bit uh low before. So guess what? <laughs> Your boy's in it. <laughs> you crazy. You crazy. He's crazy. Let's get him. Oh, I'm out. I'm out. <laughs>